Welcome back to State Champs. Let's go to boys swimming with the top two teams in Division Two, going for the Birmingham bragging rights. Number one, Sea Home versus number two, Groves. Number one ranked Sea Home fired up in the quest to defend their city bragging rights. Neighbor Groves looking to take it back. We begin with a 200 free relay. This is the senior John Hammond holding down the anchor. Their time of 138.26 set a new Sea Home pool record. Now to the 200 IM. A good one here between Groves senior Noah Zamler and Sea Home's Evan Burke. Middle of your screen, the reigning state champion in the medley, Zamler, the kick to win. He also captured the backstroke. But one year ago, Seaholm won their first state title since 1965, and they did it with depth. This season, 56 on the squad. To the furious 53, bottom of your screen, Seaholm sophomore Mike Shaven edging teammate Addison Williams. Then, another good finish in the butterfly between Grove Sam Cusimano and his teammate John Hammond. Watch the bottom of your screen as the senior Cusimano with a torrid finish for victory. Seaholm and Groves finished second and third respectively behind Brother Rice at the recent county championships. 100 free, another battle, and it would be the Falcon Stephen Curry with the W. On to the painstaking 500 free. Groves Scott Crossweight, the defending state champ in this event, but Seaholm sophomore Alec Girdler was gunning it. Middle of your screen, it's Girdler who just hangs on for the upset. It went back and forth between these schools. 200 free relay. Crossweight locked in another neck and neck fight with Nathan Anderson. And look low, Crossweight gets to the wall first. He should challenge for this title come March. To the breaststroke. Sophomore Clark Lindsay of Groves will take it for the Falcons, but Seaholm would hang on. 400 free relay. The senior Jack Howard anchoring the last leg and winning by four seconds. Seaholm retains the city title. These teams will do it again at States next month.